Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Um showing you something yeah, completely different. I was up for something. It's winter time and um yeah, I wanted to do something wintry, you know, for my office. I have one wall where I change my pictures regular and I do that with seasonal stuff. So that will be a winter thing. And I started here with the uh, craft cardstock. It was laying around just and I thought, come on, use that. And with white gesso. And I like to do that with my palette knife because it uh, dries so much quicker. It's thinner. And then I thought, yeah, why not go on with that and make a picture um, yeah, made only by a palette knife. And you see a very light blue and mix it with um, white, white gesso anyway or even more so and uh, what I do here is scrape off some of the paint to get um, this edges you can see the paint gets squeezed up there and that makes this edges and that's the way I work um, my hills you know make a hilly background and um, I think that's quite a nice way especially with a palette knife it works fantastically so you don't have to paint it down or oh, it's actually you're painting with a palette knife let's say it like this of course and um, that takes a little while to dry but after that dried I went with this pointy palette knife here and I made sure that I only took up the paint on the pointy or on the tip to put my <clears throat> little fir trees down here. Um, start with my light um, green here and then I use, to get a bit of m a bit more depth of course, I use a dark olive green and uh, at the very end I put some white back. Of course it's a winter wonderland and there will be of course snow on the fir trees definitely and that's why, how it should be. When there's snow, you know I'm not a huge snow fan but when there's snow then this one it should be all over the place not this, uh, ugh, I, I hate it when snow gets dirty and everything looks grey again so should be a lot and white or nothing nothing at all so <laughs> okay for the sky here a bit of blue but realized uh, was a bit boring only blue you know especially the winter sky is is pretty versatile isn't it there are a lot of other colors in so i use um a bit of violet i didn't want to have it in that um violet tea so a bit of white back and try to mix it under again only that bit on top and then I start to um, get oh this back might might in the background of course more fir trees I'm um, sorry sorry for that hat <laughs> it's awful isn't it but I needed to know exactly where to put it it was a bit fiddly because um, I can't only could only work with a point and with a pointy bit and yeah, but you can see what I do. It includes my head, so it's not that bad, isn't it? So, <laughs> so but then um, I put some snow back, a bit more white in the foreground here. Snow, of course, that was a bit too blue. Of course, snow when you see it, it's it's not pure white, isn't it? So. There's always a bit of this blue reflecting in there. So then I go on with paints grey here. And what what is missing? Of course, mountains. We need mountains when we have a winter wonderland. And I'm living in, in the Black Forest, so of course I will paint mountains. That's definitely important. So I used paints grey because... Um, yeah, it is not grey and it's not black. It is something between, it's a blue-grey-black thing, isn't it? So um, I didn't want to have it uh, uh, only grey or only black or blue. So that's, uh, I always think paints grey is perfect when you need something in between. And of course I go back with white because there will be snow on the top of the mountains. 
definitely, but the the rocks are shining through, so it's not completely covered. You, in the rock mountains, you always have a bit of a uncovered area, you know where rocks are, so that's why I did. And there was something missing in the foreground, definitely um, more fir trees, and that's why I do here two big ones, and working again with my pointy thing here. Same way, the lighter olive. And then I go in with the darker olive green and at the very end I will use white again to have some snow on the top of the trees same way as I did that with the other ones and I had it was quite a it was a very spontaneous page here or picture and uh, I as I said I my intention was to start or to use a brush and I'm pretty happy that I didn't uh, because I think it, it came out quite good. So but at the very end here for shading I used a brush. I now I couldn't make my mind up here doing the shading with a with a palette knife. No, I didn't know how to work that because um didn't I didn't want to have it too blocky and so that's why I used a uh, brush but that's okay it's a yeah, very hard bristle brush almost a palette knife now <laughs> but of course um, I use the rest here of my paints gray mixed with white so I really have a bit of gray here to go around my little trees and of course um, the edges where I scraped the paint off and created this little hills in the background I will go over that bits of course as well to work that shades out and yeah to give it more dimension and that it stands out a bit more but that's actually it it I won't do a lot more um I won't have a close up this time I forgot to do that but you will see not a lot to see in the close-up isn't it okay the structure maybe but you will see um, pictures at the end and um, you can see all the structures and everything and I, I, I framed it already already because it hangs already in my office so that's it and um, yeah I say goodbye guys uh, thanks so much for joining me and watching and I hope you like it and if so I would be happy about a thumbs up and even a comment and um, now the pictures are coming and I say goodbye and have a fantastic time. I hope I see you soon with my next video. Bye bye guys.